five things that made me a happier me in 20 24 and of course for the rest of my life it's going to work because these five work like magic like you guys Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Shalom Daniel Edu. We have a room for all of you. I'm excited that you stopped to watch this video. Don't skip. No, don't skip. It is an exciting one. It's always exciting here. So please click on the subscription button down below. Click on the notification bell. Give this video a big fat like and drop a comment here on this channel. I don't just talk to you. I wait, I sit back to listen to what you have to suggest to me. And then I implement it. Yeah, you guys, my book is full. I'm implementing a lot. And yes, this is me going all out. There's no faking it on this channel. We say it as it is. So number one thing that helped me become a happier person. And I hope it helps you too. Number one, understanding that I am wonderfully and fearfully made. That I am the best version of me. And there can never be another Shalom Daniel Edu. It is just me. I'm a limited edition. Say that to yourself every day. You're a limited edition. See, if there's one thing YouTube has taught me is there is room for everybody to grow. You are very perfect and original. You have your audience. I am fake, I have my audience. I am natural as I am, I have my audience. I don't know how to speak good English, I have my audience. I don't know how to organize myself, present myself. I have my audience that are waiting for me, provided I'm consistently me. And that is what the true you is. You are you. You are the original version of you. You cannot be duplicated, you cannot be faked. Nobody can. Nobody can be you more than you are yourself. You are wonderfully. Can you imagine that God took his time to mold you into this beautiful person that you are? Yes. Understanding that will make you a happy person. That, oh, I am wonderfully, <laughs> fearfully <laughs> made. I'm a limited edition. I think you should say that to yourself. Number two understanding that i am here on earth to fulfill a god-given purpose mm. i can't and i won't be everybody this realization will bring you peaceful conclusion that it is okay for people not to get you like you get yourself or even understand you. This includes people you may like. Did you hear that? Yes, the people you like, the people you are in love with, even your spouse, even your parents. Do you remember the story of Joseph? Joseph was misinterpreted by even his father that loved him sincerely. He was misinterpreted. So there's a tendency of people not understanding you. There's a tendency of people not agreeing with your, your, your motives, your, your, your intentions, your school of thought. But that is what makes you you. You are unique. God sent you to this world. People, probably God sent you to this world to come and help the needy. Do you? I saw somebody on Instagram today. I've forgotten his name now. I'm going to talk about him. If you know him, you just concur. He's a chess player. Like he's, he won the world, Guinness world record of chess playing recently. A marathon of 60 hours play. As to the 56 hours or so play. He won it. And what he does, he's trying to reach out to children through chess playing, raising funds. I can imagine when he started, people will be like, what is this one doing? So, if he tied his joy and his peace and his happiness to the fact that people don't get him, ah, people might not always get you. But just remember that you are created to, to fulfill a God-given purpose. Okay, because God doesn't give you what you want always, but what you need. So it is safe to say 
the people I truly need won't leave me. Did you get that? The people you truly need in this life, they will not leave you. They will stick by you. They, because if God truly knows that you need them, to, that there will be ladders for you to fulfill his purpose, they will stick around. So if you are of good character and people are leaving, you just know that those are heavy baggages that need to go. The people that will stay for you to fulfill purpose will stay. Is it not exciting to know that you are wonderfully, fearfully made by God? And you are created by this God for his own purpose, not for the purpose of men, not to be making everybody happy, but to fulfill his assignment he has given to you. If you have watched to this point, drop a comment and tell me that you agree. And tell me how this is making you feel important, like, ah, oh, Jehovah has a purpose for my life. Is it not exciting? Number three, this is a long read, but listen. Understanding that nobody owes me anything in life. Ooh, not even your parents. Tyler Perry said in one of his movies that nobody owes you anything in life. Even your parents, they've done their best by, that, by bringing you into this world. And so whatever they do from up is a favor. Don't you think so? There are kids that have parents well to do that didn't take care of them. So they don't owe you that much. No, understanding that nobody owes you anything in life. This particularly has helped me reduce my expectations from men. Because expectations is what bets hurts and disappointment. Because I'm all about living a happy life. I say minim I say minimize expectations this has really helped me even in my marriage this is me i'm just reading from my journal to you guys because this is just me telling you what has really helped me to become a better person a happier girl when you don't expect people to do things for you and they go ahead to do it you are wild and you are more grateful but if you expect that oh this person is my friend so whenever i go to her for help she should be she should give me that help you will dis you'll be disappointed and you will feel hot when she doesn't help you. But if you know that this person is my friend because I like this person, not because I expect that this person will do things for me. And I don't expect that you should have it when I don't have it to give it to me. Because of course, if I expect that you should have it, why don't I have it? And so there's when there's minimal expectations, there's gratitude always. You don't expect things from people like that. You don't expect that your husband should be the one to give you joy 247. Of course, it means he should not be sad. If he has joy to give you 247, he should not be sad. Knowing this will make you a happier person because you always give excuses for people when they hurt you. Don't over expect things from people. Number four, underst understanding that everybody is attracted to success. So yes, I'm not offended if my friend wants want to associate more with people that are more successful than I am. Sometimes, because I see it as a push to work harder and better to remain relevant. Understanding that everybody, including you, yes, you watching me, is attracted to successful people. When you go online and there are options for people to follow, you don't go and follow your friend that just started YouTube or started um, started TikTok or whatever it is yesterday or that just joined because she wants to be on Instagram because everybody are Instagramming. You want to quickly follow people like Tony Elumelu if you are a business-minded person because you want to understand the secret to why they got up there. And don't they say that your association will determine how far you can go? So people want to associate with bigger persons. So understanding this will give you peace of mind because you guys, I really do not relate to, I really cannot understand how women, especially my gender, I don't know if it happens to men, but my gender, we get offended like, eh, so because I'm not driving, also because I'm not so, 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 she's not relating with so, 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 because they are big and they want to rule like the big and mighty, my sister, if it is you, uncle, you want to associate with 
people that are high. I'm not saying you don't relate with people that are below you or at your level, but you are longing to have friends up there because you want to know the secrets to go up, especially if you are somebody that is not just content, that is grateful, but you are not contented with your present level. You just want to grow. That's, if you are somebody that wants to keep growing, you want to keep associating with new and big people that are up there. So if you understand that it is not about you, this is their relationship they are looking for. It is not about you. And even though it is about you, it doesn't matter because you know what they are looking for. And if you are in their shoes, you probably will do worse. So understanding that made me a happier person. So I don't look at my friends anymore when probably they are relating with other people. I just appreciate it and I'm like, oh, wow, this is a good idea. I should push and become better at what I do so that other people be attracted to me. If you see on social media, it's so practical. When Moses Bliss announced his engagement to his wife, you guys, if you check the followers she had on TikTok and all her social media handles, it's not close to what she has now. Everyone is attracted to success. All of a sudden, everybody is typing that name. All of a sudden, his wife's name is trending on Google, Instagram, YouTube, you name it. Everyone is attracted to success. So will you now get offended that, oh, because Moses Lee is marrying this girl now, all of you are typing her name? No. We have to understand that people, things grow on people. Number five. Number five, you guys, seeing yourself in people's shoes. Always. I said I have learned to always think before I judge people's action. I have learned to always think before I judge people's action. I think outside the box. I talk to someone that is neutral about it. I don't want to judge based on sentiments. Yes, I know everyone can think like me. But this right here makes me happy. Give people the benefit of the doubt. You are calling your friend and she doesn't pick up the call. Instead of just complaining that, oh, she's ignoring me, why don't you think that she probably is busy and she didn't see the call? Oh, probably her kids were playing with her phone and they played with it, she couldn't get the missed call. Or what I do, truly, is what is wrong with the person? I hope she's fine. This one, she's not picking up my call. You might call me timid or a coward that doesn't want to admit things as it is but it gives me peace you might not be me you might have other things that gives you peace please drop it on the comment section i'll add this when i ask a friend for a favor and she doesn't give me that favor for my peace sake I don't go thinking or meditating on why she didn't give me the favor. I just tell myself she probably could not do it. If you've watched this video to this point, it means you enjoyed yourself. Please drop us a like, drop a comment, and tell us what you think about this point. If you agree, drop a comment, and if you don't, tell us the things you have done. As regarding relating with people that has made you a happier version of yourself, we'll be glad to learn from you. I love you. I love that you stay to the end of this video. I love that because of you, yes, you, YouTube thinks our videos are relevant and they are pushing it out. Thank you so much for staying. Thank you for watching till the end. Please like, subscribe to this channel, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.